Hi, congratulations. This is Becky Speed, the Christian Direct Seller and Direct Sales Specialist, and I wanted to congratulate you for surviving. Evidently, you've survived and so have I. It really wasn't the end of the world. But you know, we don't want to just have a survival mentality around our business, do we? We want to thrive, and we definitely don't want it to take a nosedive. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some definite ideas, results, and secrets that I've used to not only just survive in business, not to take any nosedives, but definitely to thrive. It's going to come in several forms for you. It's going to come right from my thinking chair. That's where I'm sitting right now in my office. It's one of my favorite places to be this time of year, especially as I reflect and think back about last year, all the wins and the great things that have happened, and look forward to next year. And the bonuses, it's my massage chair, so that's always a, a great bonus. It's going to be talking about systems as well as personal growth and slamming the law of diminishing intent. So let's get started right away. You know, I love to reflect and think back about all the wins of this past year, all of the great things that have happened, as well as to count the wins, celebrate those with people, and then look for areas that I'd like to enhance, maybe make a little course correction, and then identify just one area in each of the key specific areas of building my business that I want to enhance. And I set those as my goals or my intentions. Next is systems. You have to have systems in order to function as a business person and to take off all the stress. You know, I'd like for you to write systems on a little note sheet of paper and take this down because this is a great acronym to help you remember about why systems are vitally important. The S stands for save. Y is yourself, S is stress, T is time, E is energy, and M is money. So with systems, you're going to save yourself stress, time, energy, and money. You're also going to want to include the specific ingredients for success as you make your goals and your intentions for the new year. Make sure that they're strategic, that they're specific, and that they're scheduled in great detail. And I know for some of you that were kind of like how I was. I was a very high I personality that kind of went against my grain. But what I found is if I would put systems into place, I was able to have a lot more creativity and a lot more fun doing the things that I enjoyed most once I knew everything that was going to take place in my business each day. And what I put together was an income producing calendar and this is actually what I use and used when I was in the field. So I'm just going to share a few things on here that I would recommend that you want to do, especially if you're a leader. Like on Mondays, you know, every single Monday you're going to do the exact same thing. So maybe it's a weekly focus on communication and celebration. Maybe it's coach your leaders and maybe doing a team meeting or a team party. On Tuesdays, you might decide to do host coaching, interviews, lead follow-up, client care calls, or a personal party. You know, go through each and every activity that you have and use an income-producing activity calendar or tracking sheet so you're not leaving any area of your business left undone. Another key and secret is personal growth. You know, the average American watches about 30 hours of television a week. Yeah, that's right. I said 30 hours of television a week. And there's little positive return for that. Let me ask you, what would happen if you devoted just five hours, just five of those hours a week on personal growth? What would happen to you, your family, your life, and even your business? You know, that's why so many of my clients love to get involved in masterminds because what we do in the mastermind studies is we go through a book, which by the way, we're going to be starting the 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John Maxwell after the first of the year. So I hope you'll think about joining us. But what we do is we spend one hour a week and we go through and we flesh out a really great topic and ideas. We share our ideas together. I share some wisdom and insight as well. And then we get together each and every week. So it's really a great opportunity. So even if you decided you could only do one hour a week, that would be something really important to get involved in. You know, if you're doing absolutely nothing, it might seem quite overwhelming to decide that you might want to do one hour a day. But eventually, you're going to want to build up to doing one hour of personal growth a day. And I promise you, your life will never be the same, and neither will your business. So why not start acting on a plan for this today? Maybe this is one of your new goals or intentions for the new year. And lastly, one of the secrets I'd like to share with you is about slamming head on the law of diminishing intent. You know, the longer you wait uh, to do something that you should do now, the greater the odds are that you will never actually do it. That's what the law of diminishing intent is. The longer you wait to do something that you should do now, the greater the odds are that you'll never actually do it. So take some time today. Reflect. Put together your goals and intentions for the new year and make sure that personal growth is a part of that. And remember, just do it. You know, I'm going to be taking the week 
um, off next week as far as sending you uh, an email message. So enjoy your time with your family. Have a happy new year and I will see you in 2013. God bless you.